And today is uh, December 14th, 2020. It is currently 9.27 a.m. Uh, we're going to trade some stocks this morning. Uh, it's a crazy morning so far. We had MICT just jump up over 100% <laughs> and then pull back like within seconds. Well, probably five minutes. Then we have this company here, ANPC. That's a buyout. It ran up and then pulled back. So I bought some shares of uh, MICT way back here at 190-ish. I've been holding it for hopefully a dollar gain. So I've been holding it, just waiting for that move. What I'm going to do is in a minute is actually move my sell right away and then sell it at market when the market opens. I'm up right now somewhere around uh, 40, 50 bucks. All right. So current watch list is uh, right here. Uh, Veru, SYBX, TLGT, ANPC, AOIM, they are right here. I don't really like any of them, actually, uh, other than ANPC, but it's currently on descending uh, triangle. If you look here at the news on ANPC, you'll see back here, it was some cancer news. You know, it's always a work. If you look back here, which is why I hate Chinese stock, you'll see it says a China company. So look back here. MICT Insurance Division enters in commercial partnership with one of China's largest payment service providers. What name at? Right? If you click on it, you'll see it's some trash. Be careful with Chinese stocks. They're pumping up you all day. However, when the opportunity arises, I always would jump in for the opportunity. And you look here through the line 250, that's a good area to break through for, for a move up. You look at the five day, 15 man chart, you'll see it's way, way, way way over so here's the VWAP right here price is way down there way over so all right 50 seconds left to the market opens uh again i don't like nothing right now really so uh, we're going to watch and see we got going pre-market right here trash ampc veru uh, yeah, not really good morning right now. You know, Marcus Green. So to keep an eye on pharmaceuticals, right? Because Pfizer has announced they have a vaccine. So keep an eye on pharmaceuticals. Now, Drew, this line is here, way back here. This thing, on the ninth, this thing was five bucks. Yeah. Let me get rid of these lines. So I might end up hopping in for a quick scalp. Right here. Let me get my cell phone out. Hold on, y'all. Trying to find this V E R U. Trying to do two things at once. All right. Let me go back up here. Uh, P A G P A N P Z Veru Veru want to make a move like perfect. I'm hopping in here at 990 for a ride up to possibly uh high of day. Watch this move. Uh oh, typing too fast, trying to do everything at once. See that move right there? So I'm in at 990 and I'm gonna hop out of it. At uh looking for 11 bucks right now. Let's see. <clears throat> that's a that's a large bull candle right there. Very large. ARVN. Missed that one. Let's see. Hold on, I'm trying to figure this out on my cell phone. I'm, I'm looking for 11 bucks right here on this VERU. I put in the group, watch this move right here, so you should have saw it. Let me 
Let's see, where we at? Where we at? Where we at? 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. I'm out of ARV in at $71. Well, 70, actually $71.50. That was an easy move. That was real quick. Wow, that was real quick. Why am I still holding the stock right here? Uh, I don't know why I'm still holding CSU. I don't know when I bought this. I have no idea. Hold on. When did I buy CSU? I must have forgot about it. Something. I don't know. Okay. We're going to go right here. To... Oh, I'm out of uh, Varu at 10.28. Didn't get the move I wanted. It popped up right here to 10.50, and it failed. And I was waiting for a minute, and I pulled back, and I got out right here somewhere. 10.28 on my phone, it looks like. <clears throat> I'm also in TGLT at 95 cents, so I'm looking. I'm only looking for a dollar and ten on TGLT. So let me go back right quick and show you guys uh, TGLT. Hold on a second. Let me give my sale order. Ready? <clears throat> All right. TGLT. I'm in a ninety-four cent. I'm looking for a dollar and ten. T. Sorry, TLGT. My bad. TLGT. <clears throat> Look at that move right there. I want 110, and there it is, 110. So I'm out of that one as well. Uh, let's see, CSU, I'm still holding it. I don't know why I'm holding CSU, but I am. I still got to hold this ANPC. I'm going to try to hop out of it the next run up at uh, approximately nine, about nine bucks I'm going to shoot for, maybe a little higher. Let's see what happens. Matter of fact, I'm going to hit at 9.10. Like, you know by now, I like trading certain numbers, like birthdays or whatever the heck. Look over here, though, AMPC. It breaks this it breaks this uh, resistance point. It pops this 8.85, be gone. So I'm going to put a higher order because I see it popping it. So instead of 9.10, I'm going to go to the first spot resistance. This is actually, well, $9 is a resistance point. It pops that open space. So I'm going to keep it at 9.10 for right now. What's up with CSU? I don't like this CSU. Why am I holding CSU? I have no idea. I'm gonna get out of it. When did I buy this crap? When did I buy CSU? Interesting. Let me get out of it though. All right, what's next on the list? Uh, ANPC is on watch. VERU is rebounding. Here goes VERU and rebound. Let's see. We're going to watch this for a move up. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let me go to my charts for a minute. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. See, it's a crazy morning right now. Not nothing really worth even looking at. I'm going to add over here. Um, hmm. I'm going to put in the group a TLGT as room for a few scalp trades. Meaning, bounce up, pull back, bounce up, pull back, scalp trades. You buy the dip, sell the rip, right? Veru, uh, life is old. Let me put one over here. Uh, SYBX. Nope. Yeah, right now it's nothing worth even buying. Nothing's holding. <clears throat> We're going to watch it for a minute. 
Let's keep an eye. I was telling you earlier about this uh, TLGT. Buy the, buy the dip, sell the rip. Let me put it right here. See what's happening right here on a five minute chart? It runs up, it pulls back. Look at a smaller variation. The one minute, the one minute chart will show you. See? Pulls up, pull back, pull up, pull back. So a bunch of rip trades, right? And it's banging this high point of 114. And it's down here. This is channel right now. 11 cents. So on a small stock, you can buy easy 1,000 shares, you know, 100 shares or 500 shares, wherever it is. Just keep buying the dips, right? One minute, though, aggressive. Five minute, it's not going to tell you that. Five minute going to tell you hold it. <clears throat> See that? That wall is banging. It just went through it. The high of day is imminent. So I'm going to go here and say look for a new high of day on TGLT. TLGT. High of day is 125. Let me draw this line across. <clears throat> All right, what we got going? See, we got 117, 118. It's, a, it's trading 25 million shares on a 5 million share flow. 119. Am I in TLGT? Oh, I mean, I got out of it. I might have to get back in again. Hold on. I got off. I got out of one ten. Yeah. But I need some. I need some more of that money over there. Easy, free money. All right. So here's my ARVN trade. I'm not counting the CSU trade because I held it over the weekend. By mistake, I didn't know I even had it. Sometimes I buy so many stocks, I forget to put close orders in. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But that time I truly forgot I had that stock. I must have bought it on Friday or something. All right, so TLGT, we got buy volume coming in. Looking for a quick scalp and it pulls back here to this 110, 111 mark. In a group, I'm going to put in here my ARVN trade and my TLGT trade. Look up top here, AMPC, the top left of the chart. You'll see about to make a move. So here I put in this um, ARVN right there. And I put in also my TLGT trade as well, right there. So both trades is right there, my ARVN and my TLGT. Now, I didn't put ARVN in the group because this is a $70 stock. And a lot of folks, oh, man, I missed my buy-in. Dang it. I missed my buy-in over here on my TLGT, talking about everything else. I said high of day, right? New high of day. Gosh dang it, man. I missed that one. 119. It's stair stepping. We want that. Alright, where we at? Veyru went to sleep on us. Look at Veyru. It popped up on uh, buyout news to 11.50. It pulled back and have recovered since. News is right here. Oh, wait, I'm drawing my line. Hold on. There go the channel is hitting. Nothing can call that. This was the first point right here. No. Nope. Trying to find this line to cross it. There we go. Right there. All right. So here go the news. Phase two trial data. This is a very, very common news to come out in stocks. It happens almost all the time. Everyone got phase two. Everyone got phase one. Everyone got phase three. 
It happens all the time. A lot of times, be pumping the stock up. Look at the time frame. 7.30 this morning, that first candle, boom, right? 7.30 this morning, clinical two data, boom, right? Look at the last 180 days, four hours, and see what it did. Nothing. It's been asleep the whole time, right? Today, all of a sudden, phase two data, it takes off. Why still pump it dump stocks like that? It'll burn you every time if you're allowed to do that. Look at a three-year, one-week mark. See, being trashed your whole three years. Today, all of a sudden, other than back here, today, all of a sudden, phase two down. Look at that big gap right there. That's a large gap. Don't count this wick. Count this body to that body. That's a large gap. That's a, a $2.40 gap, right? Also, phase that phase phase two data reports. And then it ran up like it did, and then it pulled back. Ever since Friday, it looked like, which was the ninth, two uh, was that Thursday? Yeah, five days to Wednesday. It ran up. Been moving little by little. All of a sudden, news came today. The low as it was was on Wednesday. Then all of a sudden, it moved little by little. The news this morning popped it up. I wouldn't bet you any amount of money. But in the day, it's going to have an offering, a direct offering. Remember, remember I said this. By the end of the day, VERU will be having a direct offering. Yeah. Over here as well, uh, TLGT almost hit new high of the day, but it pulled back. We got some cell candles right here. AMPC is recovering. We pop this point here. I don't like how it looks. We pop this point here. We got room to run. We're going to say nine bucks. <sighs> I'm still holding this. Ugh, sorry, y'all. Still holding this MICT trade. I hate Chinese stocks, but I know how sometimes they do this bull crap right here. And then it dumped. It's a 15 minute candle. This thing went from daggone 167 to three dollars in less than 15 minutes. Then it dumped. It's a quick spike. Right? Then it dumped. Look at the five minute candles. One five minute candle. Right? Shut up and it's sold. It's a trash company. Remember that. You say all of a sudden you got some news with China. What? Who? What provider? What's the name? Yeah. Be careful with them Chinese stocks, man. I'm telling you. They burn you every time. You allow it to. All right. So, I'm going to go in a group and say, uh, looks like a $9 wall. AMPC. And look here. Hit my trades here so far. ARVN, TLGT. We're going to watch it for a little bit longer. I like nothing this morning, really. Don't force a trade. When something ain't going the way you like, just go ahead and create a watch list like I'm going to do right now. I don't like what nothing's doing right now. I said that earlier. I don't like what anything's doing. So just make a watch list. A-Z-O-N. Uh, Chivo. M-T-E-M. C-C-J. A-M-P-E. O-N-C-Y. A L N A. Now you know I hate stocks more than four symbols because they're dangerous. Most of them are OTC. And someone inboxed me last night about stocks while I was watching football and I explained to that person, hey, if a stock has a Q at the end of it, that means it's bankrupt. So I wouldn't buy that. But what I would do, I wouldn't buy that. 
However, it's your money. Do what you want to do. Oh, before I forget that, I'm just a guy on the internet like trading stocks. I am in no way at all telling anyone what to do with their hard-earned money. I'm just telling you what I would do with my hard-earned money and what I will and what I would not buy. And when I do buy something, what I look for before I buy it. That's just what I'm telling you from this computer right here. I am not telling you how to put a thing in your hard-earned money. It's your money. This is a guy, a regular guy from Detroit who happened to make it out. That's it. I'm not no guru. I don't claim to be a guru. I'm not no uh, oracle. I don't claim to be an oracle. I'm just a guy who trades stocks. And while I'm trading these stocks, I figure, why not? Tell someone else who may have had the same ideas I had. Show them how I do it. Maybe it'll help them out, you know? It costs you zero dollars to help somebody out. Don't forget that. But some people, though, take advantage of that, that kindness sometimes. So be careful when you're giving your free advice out or free help. Some folks know what no means. They keep on going and going and going until you like, you know what? That's enough of that foolishness. All right. AMPC, trash. Uh, VRU, eh. Wants to recover, but it's not right now. 25 million shares traded on a 75, 70 million share float. Uh, TLGT, remember I said earlier, quick scalps, which is what it's doing. One minute chart is going to show you quick scalps. Look. Right, up, sell, up, sell, up, sell, up right now, and then, of course, you're going to sell it. Quick scalps. One minute charts. Right? I said, up here, TLG has room for a few scalp trades. TLGT, sorry. That was 12 minutes ago. There you go. Quick scalps. All right, so we're going to say it's 945 point, I drew, 947. We're going to say Veru has a 947 wall. Then from 947 to 1160, 1150 is a channel. So we're going to say from 940, 950. How about this? So Veru. Go to Veru. Good stuff, quick. Uh, Veru has a channel. From 9.50 to 11.50. You're going to say that. You're going to say high of day. You can look at yourself and see that. But only if... I'm looking over here on the screen left side. Sorry, y'all. If it surpasses this wall at 9.50. This is unedited. This is as I see it, no scripts, no voiceover. This is as I see it live. You got the same thing live. And look, I told you guys, the wall I said to you is between 950, let me put this on five minutes, between 950, 1150, but only if it passes that 950 wall right there. Current price, 923. Watch this. Nine twenty nine. Keep an eye. Nine thirty two. Nine thirty three. Hey, for the record, uh, listen. While I'm doing this video, if you listen to the video, I don't talk stocks twenty four seven, right? I don't eat, sleep, and breathe stocks. Yeah. I like making money. Yeah, I like trading stocks. Matter of fact, I love trading stocks. But listen to me. If it's on the weekend or 8 o'clock at night or 9 o'clock at night, you text me about some stocks, I don't want to hear that. Come on now, like for real. How you feel if I was calling you and say, hey, what you feel about this right here? Or I say to you, how you feel about uh, buying an a arm, a, a freaking, oh, no, not even that. 
I want to buy a Rolex watch, a uh, presidential Rolex watch. What do you think about that? And it's 9.30, 9.30 at night. How would you feel about that? You'd be like, man, what the hell? Especially if I don't know you like that. If I don't know you like that especially, don't call me. Don't inbox me. Don't text me. No questions at 9 o'clock at night. Or on a weekend. Don't do that. I don't know you like that. And I'm not being rude, but come on now. Respect my free time. You know, I'm not, you don't pay me nothing. If it costs you money, okay, cool. Call me. But nothing costs you money, so don't call me on my free time asking questions. Especially if I don't know you like that. Okay, I'm done ranting. Back to my stock trading again. So TLGT is failing. Uh, REPH. REPH is in the bull candle right now. I'm going to go over here, tell you take a look at it. I haven't traded it yet. Now, alert is already there. I'm going to look at it myself now. So I'm going to go into my account and try to give me a trade to a little over $4, maybe 15 20 cents. It's currently in the bull candle. Perfect. That's what I want. If I can get this account to log in. And we're going to make a couple of dollars. Let's see. It has a 23 million share float. Trading only 3 million shares though. So how's it moving so much with that many shares, right? <laughs> All right. They go 390. Looking for a four dollar bottom right. Looking for a four dollar mark. Then possibly 410, 411. We need more buyers to come in though. We're gonna have 3.7 million buyers. We need more than that. Let's go. Pop four bucks and we got a room to run. 91. 91. What level two looking like? Look at level two. Level two is saying what? It's saying we got buyers, sellers. We got buyers coming in. Look at 380, 392. There we go. Look at the sellers on the right side. They shorten it. 394. Now they gone. Now they back. They're trying to short it. Watch this. Once that wall go on the right, you're going to see all of a sudden it's going to explode. Here come big buyers on the left side here. We got 100,000 shares being bought at 385. Remember, dollar marks are walls. Resistance points. Usually they are. So past them dollar marks, it usually blow through them. Right, see that four, two, four, three, four, four? It blows through dollar marks. It happens almost all the time. If you know stock trading, you would know the one dollar walls, they get blown through when they do pass them. And it's always a pullback, like right now. So if you looked at my, my alert, you would see a minute ago, now has a new high up day. So you could have made a quick 15 cents right there. Right? Meanwhile, over here, I said, Veru got to pop this wall of 950. It hasn't popped it yet. So we still we still waiting. This made a high of day at 4.4. New high of day. Uh, ANPC is doing nothing. What a crazy morning right now. This is crazy. Let me get rid of this. Let me see. PAGC. Nope. Oh, EV, I missed this one. EVLO. Where we at? Uh, I'll put it here. EVLO. That's trash. 
It must have halted on volatility. I guarantee it halted on volatility. I must have missed that one. I'm sorry, y'all. I get some money first. I can't put in the group yet. I got to hop in this thing first. That's a hold on volatility. See that gap right there? Guarantee the hold on volatility. Let me get out of this. At, uh, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. All right. Let me go to group now. All right, let's check out EVLO again. And here we are right here. 950 halted on volatility right i knew without even looking at this simple i saw here that green candle and i saw that gap which only means a halt on volatility meanwhile over here on reph we had new high of day four or five my sell order is four or six so let's see what happens right here we need one cent to get my four or six and i hop out of this Four five, there we go. I'm out. So I'm gonna go into my account and screenshot my REPH trade, which again I said I wanted four or six. I wanted four eleven at first, but I didn't like what it was doing. So instead I hopped out at four or six. And looks like my order did not complete. Why didn't it say a four or six? Why, Sway? Why didn't you sell at 4 or 6? <laughs> now I get it again to get out 4 or 6 now. Let's see. 4 or 3. 4 or 4. Here come the buyer. Here come one buyer. 4 or 3. 4 or 4. 4 or 5. Just need one cent. Then 4 or 6 and I get out. Here come buyer right there. There you go. Watch this. EVLO, EVLO, EVLO. I'm going to sell at 11, 11.75. Nope, 11.55. 11.55. My EVLO sell is 11.55. It's stair-stepping right now. Perfect. watching everything at once trying to find my sell point at four or six on this reph which you don't want to hit right now for some reason here come the buyer right there to get it up get it over the top here we go sellers leaving here come the buyers Look up here at this uh, candle, 1006 on VERU, right? Well, I tell you guys earlier, I said the, the, the wall is 950, I said, right? Then I said the channel in between that is 950 and 1150. We passed through the wall, saw that bull candle, and currently 1006 right here. The question is right here is this. Why stop moving? So, are we halting on volatility? And I would say yes. So, with that being said, look at the gap. 948 to 1007, that's the gap. It halted on volatility. Now, if I wasn't, if I wasn't able to, hold on. If I wasn't, how about this? Uh... How about this? Type in that, go to this, and you will see Veru, 
10 o'clock and 14 seconds, heart on volatility, LUDP. Usually a heart lasts five minutes. So technically at 10.05 and 14 seconds, which is over here on the left, 10.02 and 14 seconds, 10.05 and 14 seconds should be the heart removal. Now, let's go back here again. It halted right there. I told you guys a while back, I said, Veyru up here. Veyru has channel from 9.50 to 10, 10, sorry, 9.50 to high of day, but only for surpasses this wall of 9.50. So what it did was it passed that wall and halted on volatility. Now, if you don't know when the stock halted, you can look at it and see, obviously, price is not moving, or you see a gap between the price and the current, the current ass. And you look up here, you'll see on trade halts, you'll see it here as well, telling you it's a halt on volatility. So, I'm going to go here. And says, uh, halted on volatility. Hit that channel that I called out. So, I currently have a sell order in. I'm out at uh, REPH2. My sell order in on Veyru was at 10.50. But the halting on volatility. So now, because I trust it coming out the halt and exploding again, I'm moving it higher. I'm putting to eleven dollars right now myself. So if it pops eleven bucks, life is good. If it doesn't, well, life's still good, right? All right, I'm out of uh, REPH finally. Let me screenshot this. Save my photos and go over to the group. I'm gonna say, get off this, get off, get off, get off this, get off this. Go to the group. I'm gonna say to you guys in the group that uh where we at? R E P H R E P H R E P H R E P H, there we go. And there is my trade on REPH. It's in the group. I'm gonna go over here and look at this. So I first called out about the phrase that, sorry. I caught our REPH way back here when it was like 360, 350-ish, right? And I said to you guys in the group, I said, hey, listen, uh, take a look at REPH 11 minutes ago, 12 minutes ago. These are five-minute candles, right? So we uncovered count these two candles right here. But reality of it was it is, I didn't see it to back here. But even still, it was 380 back then, or 370 back then. Now you'll be up right now to diagonal 11, uh, 40 cents. Meanwhile, look up here. Veyru, out the halt. My sell point, $11. See what happens right here. It was 1050, but it's strong. Let's go. Let me go here and tell you guys, out the halt. Uh, Eva Lo, uh, where we at? 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 Came out the halt. And you look over here, it's all to tell you the same thing. 10 to 5 and 14 seconds. So hot is 5 minutes normally. If there's some news, it can be up to 15 minutes. If there's some illegal trading going on, they close it down for the whole day sometimes. Like 3 or 4 hours or even a whole day. So it's quite a few different hot trades. Look up what M, M means. Look up what T1 means. Look up those trades. But LUDP is hot on volatility. And it always lasts 5 minutes more than likely. Right? So... You're going here below it. Came out with 9.50 LUDP, 9.56 out, 10.01, five minutes. LUDP, 9.56 out, five minutes. Right? M halts. 
is different. T1 hearts are different. T1, T2, 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 T3, all different kind of hearts. Look those up. T12, all different. But for a fact, you want to see these LUDP ones. Hawked on volatility. Those ones make the market move. All right. Oh, yeah. My sell point, 11 bucks. 1080. Should I move it? Let me see. Let me go to my, my five-minute chart. Five minutes looking bullish. We good. That big old bull candle. We good. I'm out of this. We good. This here is acting stupid, as always. But it's all good. I'm going to hop out of this uh, Veru on next jump up. Let's get out of it and call it a day on that one. Uh, Veru. I'm going to hop out of it at... Point is that that's 1078, 1080, 1085. So I'm gonna get out of Veru at 10 at 1070. If I don't get filled up before I get a chance to change it. All right, what we got going on here? If they rule, we need 1070, I call it a day. If you see it failing, I'm going to get out of it faster. Third 35. It's double tapping right now. And it's losing steam at the same time. Let's go. Let's go. 1050, 53, 54. Stay up there. You got to talk to them sometimes, you know? 57, 60, 62, 66, almost 770, almost had it. Look at that buyer there. Look at that. They piling in. They want to host it again. At 1070, I'm going to end the video. At my sell point, I'm going to end the video. So. I'm gonna call it a day once I end this, once I get my sell point. It's too strong to fail right now, so I'm not concerned about it failing. Cause look what it did. It made this previous candle support. What we got going on? Do 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 do. All right, what we got going on here on this? We need a green candle right here, not a red one. So the order is now going to be moved to ten fifty five because it keeps failing. That's a green candle. It's a very bullish green candle, though. You're going to see what it does right here, y'all. This top right. I want 1070. However, take what the market gives you. <laughs> All right, ten eleven. One more minute. I'm in the video. Uh, E V L O. I don't know what it's doing up here, but it want to make a bull run again. Here go that move right there. E V L O E V L O. 
Watch this move right here. Let's see what we doing here. Where the buyers go? All right, ten twelve. That's the end of my video right there. So that being said, I'm gonna call it a day. Keep an eye on this line here, and you'll see it hit that point over and over over again at ten twelve. I just called out. Uh, stay green, one trade away.